staying with us, let's get you some national updates now. Leaders of the BJP-led NDA met the Prime Minister this evening and discussed the political crisis in Karnataka, where the Governor has recommended President's rule despite the BJP's majority on record. The BJP has described this move as a murder of democracy. In fact, they've been saying that the government's recommendation for the President's rule has been seen as undemocratic. The Congress, while hitting out at the BJP, has reacted cautiously and sources say the centre is unlikely to accept Mr. Bharatwaj's uh, report. While the centre weighs its options, the BJP is playing on its nerves. After a protest march led by the Chief Minister in Bangalore, 120 odd MLAs will be paraded tomorrow before the President to show Yadirappa's majority support. Meanwhile, a warm meeting took place between Mamta Banerjee and Ms. Sonia Gandhi today. Ms. Banerjee was in Delhi to invite top leaders for the swearing-in ceremony in West Bengal. She's also invited the Congress party to join the government. I invited Sonia Ji to attend the oath ceremony. She let me know. We Congress to stay in the Congress that we or come to implement karna jaruri hai because these are only ministries with us and it is a prime minister choice they will decide but we will request him obviously Meanwhile, the Politburo of the CPM, the party's highest uh, decision-making body, is meeting in Delhi to discuss the party's performance in the recent Bengal and Kerala polls. The left has faced a drubbing at the hands of Mamta Banerjee. It has come down to third place in the state assembly. Nearly all its ministers, including former Chief Minister Budade Bhattacharya, lost the elections. General Secretary Prakash Karat uh, said it's too early to write the epitaph of the left. He also rubbished reports of Budadeb quitting the Politburo, saying he had to stay on in Bengal in the wake of the violence against CPM Kada since Mamta's victory. And uh, finally, on to some cricketing action. It's a five-day break for the squad of the Chennai Super Kings. Dhoni, among few main players, have taken time out to go home to see family and friends before their next match on the 18th. However, for some others, it was uh, leisure time to while away as uh, they took on Chennai's very own Lemon Patalam crew, winners of an inter-city cricket tournament. And guess who ended up on the losing side? Well, take a look. <laughs> Two Lemony teams facing each other in a pretty sweet contest. The Lemon Patalam boys from Cosmo Village won the right to challenge Chennai Super Kings to a match. But what's a CSK team without the likes of Dhoni, Rena, and Ashwin? Dhoni, Rena didn't, didn't come. They, this was a big upset for us. We were expecting them. The Lemon Patalam boys had one consolation. They had CSK out for 103 in less than seven overs. All that despite CSK's Aniruddha Shrikant smashing lots of sevens. You see, the sponsor had it turned into seven aside with seven balls and over and sevens instead of sixes. In a seven over game without MS Tony, Suresh Raina or R. Rashwin, it looked like CSK were a bit handicapped, especially playing with the likes of a tennis ball. The winners may have beaten Chennai Super Kings, but they are still supporting them to win the IPL. In Chennai, Natasha for NDTV News. And with that cheer, we wrap this bulletin. Thanks very much indeed for being with us.